Andrew. I'm Dennis. We are the Crafty Lumberjacks. We're here with Plaid Crafts. They have sent us a box of unknown craft supplies. We're gonna go through it and check out what they sent us and try to make something out of it. Yes, let's see what they sent. Oh my gosh, even the cat is excited. Are you gonna help us? You better. All right. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this is fancy. Oh. Hi. All right. <laughs> All right, baby, come over here so that everybody can see. Oh, he's got like painter's tape stuck to him. <laughs> here we go, let's see what they said. Oh, tissue paper. Ooh. Ooh. We hope you love this box of goodies. Can't wait to see what you make. Plaid crafts. Thank you, Thank plaid. You, plaid. Feathers. Feathers, oh yes. Mod Podge Ultra. We love this stuff. We have a new yes. video coming out um, using this stuff. It's so awesome. Uh, it's super uh, durable. It's a spray-on glue and, and sealer. sealer. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm excited to use this again. Ooh, cute fabric. Oh, we have some yarn. Oh, I like this color. Uh, some ribbon, some flowers, beads. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna make? Some note cards, Ooh, tacks. Oh, Oh, okay, okay. My mind is starting to work here. My okay. mind is starting to go. Oh, we got some glitter. Yes. Ooh, a little octagon um, canvas. Oh, that's so cute. I've never seen one of these. Very cute. Yeah. What else? Oh, we have some more glitter. Ooh, cork. Oh, we love some cork. Oh, what's this? Oh. Very cute. So cute. Oh, gosh. Awesome. Now the pressure's on. Okay, so we have to make something with these materials. It doesn't have to be all the materials, but something. I think I'm going to use the cork um, and make a little planter for some fake succulents or something like that. I'm gonna use um, this hexagon, hexagon? Yeah, hexagon. Oh, I think I called it an octagon. Oh, whoops. I'm gonna use this and try to make it uh, maybe like a little tray, like a catch tray. A little macrame Cute. hanging plant with the yarn and the beads. Yeah, and I'm really liking this paper, so I think I'm gonna try to use some of this paper. Let the crafting games begin! Ah. <laughs> We're so excited they sent um, extra Mod Podge Ultra. This stuff is awesome. We've been using it for like three months now. It's yeah. a new product. It's um, a spray-on Mod Podge. Yeah, so it seals, it glues. Yes, it's it... super durable. Um, you also have a lot of time, it doesn't get tacky, so no. you have a lot of time to work with stuff and adjust. It also like uh, holds on to super heavy things. I know, it's crazy because it's not like a heavy formula, so you wouldn't think right. it would, but yeah, things like stick down. And then also, um, there's no streaking. You know, sometimes you do Mod Podge and uh, you get a little bit of streaking if you're decoupaging or something. This no streaks and then it's also self leveling so that there's no puddles or anything like that and then it all just kind of melges together. It's basically <laughs> magic. Yeah, magic, magic in a, a bottle. bottle. Jinx. I'm gonna make a mini little planter so I'm just gonna cut this into fours. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting out my paper to fit these pieces and then I'm gonna possibly spray them with the ultra. I'm using hot glue and then I'm gonna use the ultra to add any details to the sides. And I've cut out two pieces of paper. <laughs> my little box is all made and cut. That's really cute. All right, I have my trapezoids cut out and I wanna put some fabric right on the inside and maybe see if I'm gonna do something to the outside too. But I'm really loving this paper. Now we're gonna just uh, prep our, our space here for the Ultra. Because it's a spray, you do wanna use um, parchment paper or a silicone mat works really well. Yes, that way it doesn't stick to the paper, it just sticks to the project. You're on Ultra already? I'm on Ultra! You gotta shake it out about 15 seconds with the cap on. Then give it a little test spray. And I'm also gonna spray my fabric. And again, it gives you that extra time to work with it, so you have time to smooth it out, adjust as needed, making sure it really adheres to the cork there. All right, I'm gonna set this to dry. So they recommend um, after each use of your Ultra just to kind of wipe it. We have these little alcohol wipes that we use um, just to clean it up, just so that when you use it the next time it's ready to go and doesn't clog. All right, so I have my fabric that I cut to size. I'm just gonna slide it through. 
But actually, first I'm gonna spray it with the Ultra, so shake it up. I'm gonna give it a little test spray. Perfect. It's really great because it gives you time to move things around. There's no rush. So I'm just smoothing it out and then I'm gonna give another coat of the Ultra right on top. Yes, because it's also a sealant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm starting my macrame here. A lot of people get intimidated by it, but it's really not that hard. You can use any string, yarn, twine. You wanna start with four pieces of equal length, kind of depending on how um, low or high you want your plant to be hanging. Find the center and just tie a knot at the top there. You add a piece of tape here and then I start knotting as I work my way down. I'm nodding right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start laying on my paper. I'm just spraying my paper. I sprayed the surface and I'm placing it down. It's really easy for me to rearrange everything still, which is so great. Here's where the macrame can get a little confusing. So you want to tie together, knot together, um, opposite strings of the knots that you just created. So not from the same two from like the one next to it. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Google it. <laughs> I'm gonna trim some edges when it's all said and done, but I think this is great. Take your two outside strings here and tie them together. So you're kind of creating the basket there where your plant will sit. So you wanna kind of visualize and Connect. Visualize. Visualize and connect. What? So cute. All right, so the paper's dry. I'm going to add these cute little flower beads right to the bottom. They're gonna act as little legs and I'm gonna do that with the Ultra. So, shake and test. Ooh, that's good. And then, I'm gonna spray. Place. All right, and then just spray the whole thing. And it'll be glued in just a little bit of time. All, All right. right. Craft challenge completed. Yes, they look so great. So cute. I love them. We didn't use everything in the box. Yeah, we like to um, scale back. We like to edit a lot of our work. Um, so we'll save all of those knickknacks for other projects. Yes, and of course that Mod Podge Ultra. Oh, we love it. We've been loving working with it. It's super great. Yeah, Platt, thank you so much for sending us this box of goodies. We had so much fun crafting. Yes. See you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.